How do? My name's Anna. I love to decorate myself and this week I'm doing a mothership a day. So taking all of Pat McGrath's uh, palettes and doing a look with them today. I'm going to be doing this look with the mothership three subversive palette and then at the end of this it's actually more like two weeks um i'm going to rank the palettes having just worked with them so if you want to see how i got this look then keep on watching okay so i'm racing with the sun today it's a race to who can who can get done first <laughs> or whether I can get done before the sun gets to my face. Today is day three of my mothership a day, and today is mothership three, subversive. Now, um, if you've been around since the beginning, um, <laughs> this palette and I have not had an easy relationship. Um, I've struggled with this palette a lot, so we'll see um, what happens today. And I'm... I'm not exactly sure what the deal is, why why I have so much trouble with it. Um, I think it's so incredibly, insanely beautiful and kind of has this like almost 80s vibe, which I am so into, but I don't know. I just can't make this work for me. And I wonder if it's like my undertone because I'm a little bit yellow and I feel like a pink undertone would just be better with this combo. So, um let's see what we can do. I, this particular palette does kind of scream like fuchsia magenta to me. So I am going to try to incorporate that. Um, I've been trying to sort of, um, do these looks focusing on what the palette sort of speaks to me, you know, what it says to me. So, uh, this one is definitely screaming, uh, like fuchsia magenta always. I mean, probably because of the cover, let's be honest, but you know, what else? Um, there's also, you know, maybe I would actually do better to use like the kind of, um, well, this is a gold to pink, but this like gold, maybe this like bronzy color, um, brown, bronzy brown. Hmm, interesting. Well, that's a concept. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So let's zoom in just a wee bit. And um, yeah, I'm going to, okay, I think I am going to start with this shade. And what do I want to do with it though? <laughs> There's no planning involved. Okay, so perhaps Perhaps we go into this inner corner and this outer corner and we'll go rather far out here using a somewhat dense brush. This is a diffused shader from Nikia Joy Cosmetics. I really like some of her brushes and I really don't like others. And this is one that I'm, I'm pretty okay with. Now taking this shade with A smaller more dense brush um, I just want a little bit deeper color in here oh this brush is not any good it's no good I need to get rid of a bunch of brushes this is a really cheap brush that doesn't work very well and yet I continue to own it. Why, why is that? Okay, let's try this rougher brush instead. and see how this goes. I want, I want some shimmer, which this should be giving me based on what it looks like in the pan. 
Am I getting some shimmer? I just want a little bit. Just a little bit. It's kind of a gray. I think this is kind of a cool, cooler toned palette for the most part. Although there is that kind of orange and gold. Wow, those glitters though in the sun look so pretty. Hmm. Um, with that same brush, I'm gonna sort of clean it off a bit. Um, I'm going to use this shade, which is pretty standard one shade. I mean, it, standard, it's just, it's not like a duochrome. Um, and I want to use that um, sort of as a filler, like of color, um, maybe that's not, even, mm, no, this is, this will work. This will be fine. I want to do, um, like, well, here, I'll just show you. I'm going to do sort of an arc above. Um, the shading that I've been doing. Oh, it's very high on my eyebrow. So we're gonna put the, the color down. All right, and then I need sort of a dense brush. I don't want any pigment on it. And I just want to sort of diffuse that out a bit. So it's not such um, a distinct line, but more of like a fuzzy line. If only my skin were not so malleable. <laughs> it just it moves around so much. That's what happens. Okay, going back in to this shade, I'm going to just sort of fill in up to that line a little better. Kind of blend it up a bit. I actually think this is just gonna make a kind of cool um, inner corner pop. Hopefully I am correct in this assumption. I have this silicone um, like applicator. I'm gonna see if this works. I feel like in the past it hasn't, but I like want it to. So <laughs> we're gonna see if that um, will give me what I want. Actually, that is not the worst. Um, I'm, cause it, it sort of works more like your finger would, you know? I don't know, like it's, it makes it super opaque. Um, okay, cool. Well, I'll take it. Um, very nice. Oh, 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 <laughs> did I go a little overboard? I feel like this is just gonna have to be dramatic. This palette goes super dramatic uh, super quickly. So um, I'm gonna use this um, as a brow bone highlight. And I haven't been telling you the names of these. This is Astral Ghost Orchid. And I wanna take this goldish pink shade and Let's see, we're gonna try this one. I don't know, it's like kind of between dense and fluffy and very round shaped. Uh, but I want a pretty good covering, but not super opaque um, right here. So I want that like shine and a little bit of color 
but I don't want it to be super dense um, or foiled like it would with like your finger. Just some shine. Not sure if that's enough or not. Ooh, I see glitter flying through the air. <laughs> All right, and then with my pinky, I'm gonna go into the shade Blitz Amethyst. It's like a blue to purple to fuchsia. Um, maybe there's some copper in there. And that's going to go in the center of my lid. I think I said this in my video yesterday, maybe the one before where I used to be so, so awed by Pat McGrath and ever since I got into indie shadows after that, they just don't like pop the way, you know, that that they used to for me. They're just not as exciting. All right, and then I think I'm going to attempt, I'm a little scared, but I am gonna take the matte black, the extreme black, with a tiny little brush, and I'm just gonna add some black um, to the outer corner right here. and then the inner corner as well, right next to the gold for some contrast. I find matte blacks super scary. <laughs> All right, so now with a somewhat smaller fluffy brush with no pigment on it, I'm just gonna sort of blend that black into my lid shade just just a little bit just just slightly oh that like took the pigment off hmm I'm gonna go back in and dab that on again all right and then for the lower lash line Maybe just actually taking that um, same Bliss, Bliss Amethyst and uh, just using that on my lower lash line. And I don't think I'm going to put anything underneath it. I think we're just going to see how that works out. And I'm going to try to keep it really close, kind of with my eye shape. I think keeping it really close is going to be my best course of action. Do I want to use black down there? No. I... I'm too scared. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take this shade, Astral Ghost Orchid, and I'm gonna start right here in the center and kind of brighten that up and actually maybe drag it all the way to the inner corner. I'm not sure if this is adding any brightness or not, but I'm gonna do it. Just gonna touch up that gold right here with a brush this time. Mostly because I just grabbed it because I forgot I used that silicone thing. I don't know, I think I went a little overboard on that side. Uh, it's certainly like a statement. I don't know how flattering it is. Cause it's not, it's not like light and brightening and my eyes are like close enough together. I'm not sure how that looks. Mm, do I want, do I want to brighten that up somehow? Like if I put this over it, what's that gonna look like? Should we try it? Let's just see what happens. 
Let's brighten that up. I want brighter. The gold has like a, almost a black or a green base to it or something that makes it look so dark. Um, mm, that just looks like super messy. It's just super messy now. Well, we'll see if we can clean that up with concealer under there and um, just gonna hope for the best. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna finish up my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back for a second because <laughs> I went to go clean it up and I just ended up going delete, delete, delete because it just, I didn't like it. Okay, so I'm gonna use um, this shade the astral ghost orchid for that purpose um for the inner corner because i just i didn't like i didn't like the way that that was looking the gold was just too dark for that i was thinking oh what a statement but mm, it just didn't work and sometimes that happens so we're gonna use this which is Brilliant. <laughs> Just on its own. I even think using like a glitter primer or uh, spraying my brush would work really well with that. I'm not gonna do that right now, but um, that is like an idea. I'm also gonna go back into this shade and just try to kinda um, put that back where I had sort of wiped it off before um, and cleaned up with my concealer. Just go back over it. It's fine. There we go. Got some shimmery sparkles flying around in the air. And then I just want to take this shade, this um, Blitz Amethyst, um, and make sure that it's, you know, that you can see it uh, when I like move around because sometimes you know my eyes being hooded it gets a little bit lost if I don't put enough like if I don't put it up high enough in certain areas so I just wanted to make sure that that was getting its moment and yeah I think that's a little bit better okay now I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup okay I'm back. So I sort of lost the battle with the sun, but some clouds have stepped in to sort of help me <laughs> with my cause. Um, this look is kind of screaming for eyelashes and a black wig. And I just, I don't want to do that right now. Um, but I highly recommend it. <laughs> um, I'm also, I want to take um, a little bit more of this shade on that same brush that I used before. This is the uh, VR Pink. And I just, I want to um, put that out on the sides here um, to kind of blend it into the blush, which I thought like hot pink blush was kind of the thing um, for this. And... Yeah, I just wanted to sort of, also I got a lot of fallout, like there's blue on my face right here from when I uh, put more of that lid shade on. So this is a super messy palette. Like do your eyes first, make sure they are done, and then do your face makeup would be my recommendation. And it's probably gonna fall down onto your face. Like I have so much glitter everywhere. Can you see that? Um. Anyway, other Pat McGrath products that I used, um, I had this Bridgerton Trio. I don't know if they were named. Ah! This one, it doesn't seem to have a name. But, oh, Love at First Blush. Divine Blush and Glow Trio. And um, the actual blush, blush shade is called Cherish. Um, and it's super, super pink. And then I actually kind of like contoured a bit with my Menagerie Arthurine Blush Palette. Um, with this shade Blueberry. It's a super cool toned 
uh, purple. Anyway, I don't know. And then I used actually a, um, this Pink Star highlighter from Odin's Eye. I really like it. It looks pink in the like pan, but it actually glows like a pink. Um, it's, or it looks yellow in the pan and glows pink. I'm not sure what I said. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I use like three different lipsticks. It's this old expired, not expired, uh, discontinued, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, kind of on the outside. This is called Rage. And then two MAC lipsticks, um, two shades of pink. The lighter one is Candy Yum Yum. And the um, little bit deeper one is called Breathing Fire. And honestly, the Candy Yum Yum probably would have been fine uh, mixed with that Anastasia Beverly Hills shade. Um, anyways, I used Extreme Black Eyeliner on the top. And on the bottom, I used Calabasas uh, Creme Gel Liner from ColourPop. So that's what I'm wearing uh, for the most part, color-wise. Again, I would add lashes to this and probably deepen my eyebrows, but I don't know. I guess I just decided like, it's fine. My hair is fine with this. Am I just too lazy to put on a wig? Yeah. <laughs> I actually tried, but my hair, without doing a lot to my hair, I can't get it to stay under there. So um, just imagine me with black hair right now and like short black hair. I think would look super cute with this look. Uh, maybe a dark purple actually would look really cute or a dark deep blue. So yeah, that's the look with the subversive palette, Mothership number three. And, oh, and I used the Pat McGrath. I don't remember what these were called. Are these just the dark star mascaras? But um, it's this aquamarine dream shade. Um, these are really fun for different textures and colors and, um, anyway, that is that. And tomorrow we will be doing mothership number four. So I hope to see you in that video and I hope you're having a good week. See you later. Night. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day, it will brighten all the way, if we keep on the sunny side alive.